Hey YouTube, it's Two Yanks and a Kiwi here. This is Point Shooter here. Well today I'm doing an in-field review. You can see I'm out in nature, not too far away from society. You can hear a lawnmower in the background. But I wanted to do an in-field review of the Condor Hudson Bay. This was a knife that was graciously sent to me by ING Noob when I won his contest a few months back. And I had just had the knife sitting around, I hadn't done anything with it. Uh, but I took it out of the box the other day and started working with it, and I'm very impressed with it. Um, out of the box, the edge is not very good. Uh, this is 1075 series high carbon steel, and it comes with a somewhat convex grind on it. Basically, it was highly polished edge, but it was not flat ground, V ground. It was a convex edge. They, they were, I could tell that they had been coming along, and then they sort of bumped the edge, and it would not even cut paper out of the box. Uh, the one thing about this knife is that it is extremely heavy with a blade forward balance. So for a lot of chopping and uh, wood processing tasks, you're not going to need it to be razor sharp to get done what you need done. But uh, what you can see, I'm going to look for um, a piece here. We'll do a little chopping on it. Just take a piece of dead wood here. Now obviously I'm left handed. Um, I was telling the ING Noob that the grip of the knife is very big for my hand. I'll show with my fingers together. You can see there's a good inch and a half of handle left past. Now, of course, you want to grip the back here uh, of the handle to have a nice firm grip. Uh, one thing that I was disappointed with about this knife was it did not have a lanyard hole. For a knife this heavy, I would definitely advise having a lanyard on it. Um, you could probably attach one to the handle by drilling a hole through one of the one of the rivets and putting a piece of paracord through. So it's not a huge issue, it's just something that you have to do. Um, the sheath, which I'm wearing, is way longer than the knife. You can see that there. Um, the sheath, as uh, James has said, Condor just has one sheath pretty much that they use for knives of this type. And this one with an eight and a half inch blade uh, got the longer sheath. So I would love to find somebody who would do a Kydex sheath for this and I might try to make one myself or I might try to modify the leather sheath that it came with. Um, I took a bit of time today and very carefully ground, put a V-grind, sorry for the background noise there, put a V-grind on the edge and gave it a nice 20 degree grind. Um, I think it came out pretty well. Uh, I then uh, took um, fine, uh, a medium grit diamond stone and smooth the edge, got out all the grinding marks. You can see there's still some down here at this end, um, but it's got a nice uh, uh, blade profile to it. It's very thick, um, high carbon steel. It's got very good heft to it, and it feels good in the hand. It's just that the grip is a tad bit large for me, but the nice thing about it being full tang is you could change this grip to any way you want. You could grind this down, you could put grooves in it, you could put ranger bands on it, you could do anything you wanted. Uh, I find it's a little bit too small to put ranger bands on, but I definitely would like to see some sort of uh, rubber grip for this, because really, once you get going and going and going, the smooth handle could fly out of your hand. So let's do a little bit of preliminary chopping here. You can see in just a few chops, and I'm just doing that very easy for the camera, you can chop right through wood with it, no problem. Now it's obviously breaking there, but uh, this thing really chops well. I've chopped a, a little bit with it. Uh, I've batoned with it, it splits wood well. It's a nice all around camp tool. And for a price point um, of under $50, right around the 40 to $45 mark, it's a very good addition to a bushcraft kit. Uh, ING Noob was telling me that there is something about the design of it that uh, allows it to skin game very well. I haven't tried that out uh, and, and probably won't uh, anytime soon. Uh, I really don't have any experience with skinning game, but this is something that would be a great addition to your, uh, your survival kit. This really makes a nice belt knife in my opinion. Um, I am happy with it out of the box that it comes with, um, I guess, a functional edge, but it was not shaving sharp, and that's why I really rework the edge. A lot of people like convex grinds. I personally don't. I prefer a, a flat V grind at 20 degrees on all knives, whether it be kitchen cutlery, pocket knives, or bushcraft knives. That's just my preference because that's the way I've always sharpened my knives, is with a very uh, fine angle that um, gives a nice uh, cut. But uh, this one is hair shaving sharp. Uh, I, I sent a rant to ING Noob the other night, 
and said, ah, oh, man, carbon steel stuck. So I'm down here trying to, at first I tried with a file to, um, to change the, the edge geometry and then I was like, screw it. Got out the uh, belt sander and worked on it. But uh, he, he, he gave me some pointers about getting carbon steel uh, sharp because I've only really ever worked with stainless. Um, carbon steel is a new steel for me. Um, I've worked with 1095 before on my uh, Ontario uh, US Air Force pilot knife, but I was not a big fan. I just find that stainless steel has always been what I prefer to work with. Even cheap stainless, I don't mind working with. In fact, in a lot of cases, the knives that I prefer are cheap stainless, uh, 300 series stainless. But I think that the um, Hudson Bay definitely gets a thumbs up in my book. Um, it's a little bit big for carry around here. You have to openly carry it. And again, it's gonna get looks from people. So it's not something that I'm gonna take on every trip, but it's something that definitely makes a good addition to my backyard fire prep and something that would be good in a, uh, in a survival situation for shelter building and processing firewood. Um, haven't thrown it or done any real tricks with it yet, but uh, I'll probably post an update video at some point in the near future. All right, guys, this is Point Shooter. Hope you guys enjoy the review. Take care and stay subscribed to Two Yanks and a Kiwi. Peace.